say you know, and then I realized later that I have the RPG clip of them, so I should just like message them back so I can even leave with you like, here, check out this montage if you get a The TV missile. It's unlocked with an attack helicopter score of 60,000, and in the right hands, it's absolutely lethal. The TV missile is a specialization that provides an attack helicopter gunner with a controllable missile. The TV missile is pretty hard to control sometimes because it can only fire in the direction that the helicopter is facing, so it really takes a good pilot and gunner to coordinate together to get on online with those targets to take them out. It's got a range of about a thousand meters, and it can take aircraft out in one shot. We're going to go ahead and take a look at tanks first because tanks are some of the easiest targets to hit with the TV missile. The TV missile is no longer a one-shot kill on enemy armor. Unless you're really lucky and hit a soft spot, or if the armor is already damaged below 61, then you are just going to get a disable. It will require two TV missile shots or a quick follow-up with your main cannons. Tanks are some of the easiest targets to hit because they spend a large percentage of time stationary on the battlefield shooting at other enemy targets. This is where you'll want to line up your shot, coordinate with your pilot, and get lined up before you fire. There is a lot of input lag on the TV missile, so that's where the importance of being lined up on your shot comes into play. If you're lined up, it doesn't take very much work on the sticks at all to get the missile guided in onto the tank. The thing to remember with the TV missile is to not rush your shot. Fly with somebody that has a microphone and coordinate with them so that you can have them either get the nose up, down, left or right, lining you up so that when you fire you have very little corrections to make. Another good tactic to remember with the TV missile is to allow yourself plenty of range between you and your target. The TV missile flies at just under Mach 1, so if you're too close to your target, you won't have time to get the missile guided in properly. The TV missile is most lethal when coordinating attacks with your chopper pilot. If you can have your pilot put rocket pods on target before you fire, a lot of times you will result in a one-hit kill due to the enemy armor being softened by the pilot's rocket pods. When shooting at a moving vehicle on the battlefield, be sure to have your TV missile lined up a little bit in front of the vehicle in the direction that it's traveling. It'll be a lot easier for you to maneuver the TV missile onto target. And always remember to pick your targets wisely. A, a vehicle that's already disabled or heavily damaged is going to be a better option than one that can take that f full brunt force of the TV missile requiring a second follow-up shot. Engaging infantry with the TV missile is a bit more of a challenge. They're a smaller target, therefore a little bit harder to hit. It helps to try and spot them before you fire, but one benefit of the TV missile is during flight you can use the spotting option. When there are no visible targets on the battlefield, a good tactic with the TV missile is a blind fire. Shoot the missile in the direction you think enemies may be, trying to use the spotting system along the way, or just picking them up visually on the TV missile itself. A good time to engage infantry on the ground is when your chopper pilot is flying relatively low, perhaps strafing a flag or an objective. The problem with this method, though, is with the nose tilted so far down, a lot of times with the TV missile glitch that's still present, you can end up team killing yourself and your pilot. If you don't have any friends online that can help you uh, pilot the chopper and coordinate attacks with the TV missile, or maybe you're just stuck with a new pilot, one good tactic to use is just to solo pilot the chopper. You can switch back and forth between the gunner and pilot seat firing the TV missile and engaging targets. Just remember to have plenty of altitude before you switch to the gunner seat to fire the TV missile because if you're going after a long-range target, the TV missile will be in air for quite a while. And you may find yourself swimming in the middle of the ocean, or worse, crashing and burning into the ground. Enemy aircraft are some of the hardest targets to hit with a TV missile. They're the fastest moving on the battlefield, especially if you're going after a jet, and therefore require a little bit more skill on the sticks to guide the missile onto target. When engaging enemy aircraft with a TV missile, be sure to lead your target in the direction they are flying before you fire your missile. You will have fewer adjustments to make mid-flight, ensuring a higher hit percentage. If you happen to miss when engaging a chopper or jet, be sure to continue guiding your missile either to the ground or near an objective. You just may get a lucky shot on somebody. As I mentioned before, the TV missile has quite a bit of input lag on console. 
In order to effectively control the input lag, you just need to practice with it. Joining an empty server and solo piloting the chopper will give you ample opportunities to practice with the TV missile without getting shot out of the sky while trying to perfect your technique. Small movements on the analog sticks will also help control the input lag to a minimum. I hope these tips help you better understand the TV missile and also make you a more efficient killer with it. Practice, practice, practice. I can't stress this enough. You're going to miss a lot of shots in the beginning, but eventually with enough practice, you'll be taking out targets like a boss. If this tutorial helped you out, then be sure to return the favor and hit that like button and subscribe to me if you haven't already for more vids like this, helping you become a better Battlefield player. If you have any ideas for any future how-to or tutorial vids, be sure to drop a comment down in the comment section below. And until next time, as always, stay frosty, my friends. Yeah, I like probably 28 hundred.